Hi everybody! Today I am doing the BBBE buns using Indigo Neely's frozen butter trick. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes, other cooking ideas. These things helped me to lose over 125 pounds and counting. So I hope that you come on this journey with me as I lose the rest and check out some of my other videos, some of my recipes on my website. For returning subscribers, welcome back. I hope you enjoy today's video. Okay, so uh, for those of you who are regular YouTube watchers, uh, unless you've been away, you probably have heard about this bread that Indigo Neely made just a few days ago in which she used frozen grated butter and it apparently has changed the texture of uh, egg white bread to be, you know, something amazing. So I have not tried it yet with the BBBE bread. When I watched her do it, I thought, I think that could work. Um, and she even suggested that that could work when she commented on, on one of my videos and I commented on one of hers. So I know that a few people on uh, Facebook have already tried it and they seem to think it works. So I just haven't tried it yet. I haven't had a chance. Uh, I've been dealing with some other issues, but that's all behind me now. And so today I'm finally going to try it. I hope it works. Um, so I have some frozen butter in the freezer. Okay, so I'm gonna go over. Uh, you have seen me making this, uh, these buns and this bread before, but I'm gonna go over it all anyways in case this is your first time, list all the ingredients. There is a printable recipe card. It has all the ingredients, any variations. I haven't added the butter part in yet, but I will if it works. <laughs> um, all the variations are here and the full instructions. So I put that link below. You can go there and um, print out your own recipe card. So let's go through it. I have six egg whites in here, which is the same as approximately seven ounces or just over 200 mils. And the way that I always do it is I break three fresh eggs, keep three yolks because we need three yolks in this batter. And then I put my three egg whites in here and then I top it up with carton egg whites in, in this little beaker here. And that, so I'm basically using half fresh, half carton egg whites. A pinch of Redmond's Real Salt, 30 grams of beef bone broth powder. It's not the same as beef protein powder, it's beef bone broth powder. The recipe card has other things you can substitute if you don't have that. And 42 grams of the egg white powder, which is becoming very hard to get. I have half a bag left and so I'm having to use it sparingly from now on because they've been out of stock for so long, it's very expensive. So I've got, of course, my um, eggs already separated. And in the freezer, I have got a half a stick of grated frozen butter. And I didn't have a salad shooter or anything like that that would work um, like on Indigo Neely's video, which I will link down below, by the way, so that you can go check out you know, her method. I just used this. You do have to work fast. As soon as I grated it, like I froze the butter solid, grated it, and then I put it in a bowl and put it right back in the freezer so that I can take it out at the last minute. But I just wanted to let you know that a box grater will work. Okay, so now I'm going to measure out the dry ingredients. I'm gonna get the egg white powder and yeah. I'm gonna zero out my scale. Okay, so I'm gonna measure out 42 grams. So I did it that way because a lot of people ask me, um, well, what's another way of saying 42 grams if you just have, you know, measuring spoons? So it was just, it was about six and a half tablespoons. And 
30 grams of this, which is supposed to be one scoop, but it isn't always. So uh, I do like to weigh that as well. So 30 grams of that. Okay, a oh, pinch of salt. I'm going to uh, set the oven to 325. I'm also, I wanted to mention, I'm going to be baking these in my mesh bun pan. I have a rack underneath there to allow for airflow underneath. I like this pan the best for this particular bun recipe because they, they seem to stay nice and um, tall, I guess is the word, in, in this bun, this mesh pan. Um, the adding the rack underneath, that's a tip from low carb spin, which I really appreciate. I think it does help. And uh, yeah, so it's going to make, let me see, what, we've got nine buns, six, seven, no, eight buns. Yeah, it makes eight buns if, if you use this pan. I have uh, piled them up in my six bun pan as well. They're bigger that way, but um, I like the size of these in here. Okay, so I'm going to get started and uh, we'll start whipping the egg whites up. I will just be dumping this in there. I don't really worry about it because there's no fat in here. It does whip up nicely with the egg whites. So, but I will get this started now. I'm just going to scrape down the sides a bit here. Did get some powder on the sides that I didn't mean to. Okay, when it kind of looks like uh, the consistency of whipping cream, then that's you know about as whipped up as it's going to get with those ingredients in there. So I'm going to put it on the lowest speed and add my egg yolks one at a time and then they're going to go in here. Okay, so I am ready to add the frozen butter. Um, so like I said, this is half, these two are half a stick. I wasn't sure how much I was going to need, so that's why I separated them like that. So I'm going to dump this in. I don't know how fast you're supposed to work here, uh, but hopefully we've got it. Oops. Okay. I can see all the little lumps of butter in there, so that's good. I was going to pipe it and everything, but I, I thought I probably am going to end up melting the butter. I, I want to work fast here, so uh, here we go. I'm just going to pile a bit into each one. So your, your dough should still look nice and fluffy. It won't be as high as the traditional egg white breads where it's almost foam-like when you put it in here or, or like meringue big fluffy meringue. It's it's more like whipping cream or shaving cream would be a good way to put it. That one's going to be a little ugly, but you know, we just have to go with it. Trying to get, you know, an even amount in every well here. All right, these are going in the oven. I'm going to put them in for 12 minutes. 
uh, take them out, do a little bit of an egg wash on them, and then put them back in. I'll put them down. Okay, these have been 12 minutes. They are looking good, but I want to put that egg wash on the tops and then pop them in for another three or four minutes. It just gives them a nice finish on top here and does help the tops not stick as much. This is part of, you know, all these tips that I'm learning from other YouTubers like Low Carb Spin and Indigo Neely. I mean, it's so awesome. All right, and I'm just going to sprinkle some Redmond's. I've got onion salt and garlic salt, so I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on, whoops. First it doesn't come out and then it comes out. So I'm doing half and half. Just gives them that extra little flavor on the top. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in for four minutes. Then I'm going to let them completely cool down and we will try them. Okay, they're cooled down now. Um, but before we try them, I need to tell you about something that I didn't even think of until after I took them out. So I used the mesh buns. There's a lot of butter in these. Um, there's a lot of butter in my pan. Now I don't know if this is going to affect the end result here. I, I perhaps should have put them in something. Like I don't know if part of the structure and taste and texture of these needs all that butter to stay in there by using a pan where it doesn't leak out. I don't know. We're just gonna have to see what happened here. I'm wondering if some of you were yelling at your screens going, no, don't use the mesh pan. But I couldn't hear you. <laughs> well, look at that. I mean, it's coming out nicely, all that butter. There's a little bit of it kind of sticking. I suppose I could have sprayed these, but I really don't like to unless I absolutely have to. So let me see what we have here. Oh, it's really uh, moist and soft. It smells great, it smells like butter. I'm wishing I had baked them a bit longer. <sighs> I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Okay, I'm talking to you the very next day after shooting that video and going through it. And so a lot of things went wrong in this video. And normally, um, you know, with editing, you can just make the rough edges look smoother. <laughs> and the buns turned out great. But here's what happened. All of the instructions I gave for baking, I was using a 15 minute bun. I was using a different bun recipe that was stuck in my brain. The actual baking directions, you have seen them popping up on the video, like wherever I said, you know, put it in for another four minutes or whatever, you've seen the corrections popping up. And I just wanted to explain, you know, why. So the true baking directions are, put the buns in the oven for 15 minutes, put on the egg wash, put them back in and bake for another full 10 minutes they will be pretty good. I mean, we all have different ovens, so, you know, take that into account, but that is what it's supposed to be. Um, in fairness, when I made those buns and was working on that video, I had been up since 2 a.m. watching the, the Queen's funeral, and I probably never should have done a video when I was that overtired, um, because my brain was totally on the directions for a different bun and I apologize for that. So the good thing is that the printable recipe card, the written instructions, those are correct. The little pop-up windows that you're seeing everywhere, those are correct. 
So rather than just throw the whole video in the in the garbage and, and start again, it just made sense to make the corrections, but I just wanted to say why. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so there you have it. Back to the video now. Because it's almost too moist. But I can see where these are going to work. I just need to work on the tweaks here because I think if I had baked it another five minutes, it would be slightly less moist. So I think what I, I'm going to try a couple of things. Um, I can't obviously put them back in now, um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, refrigerate a couple of these see what they're like later. I'm gonna throw a couple in the air fryer and see what that does. And I'll include a little bit of footage right after this to show the results of that. Um, and I mean, on my next go, I will just have to try to bake it a bit longer. Um, they, they smell amazing and they, around the edges here where they have completely cooked, they taste amazing. So I, I mean, I mean, it was an experiment, you know, um, so sometimes experiments don't work 100% and you just keep trying. Um, yes, I loved my science experiments in school when I was in high school. Um, but yeah, you just you just keep trying until, you know, you, you tweak it and, and get it right. So I um, so uh, once this video ends, wait for that extra little bit of footage so you can see how that ended up. Okay, so... Uh, these were underbaked. What I did is I put four of them in the in my Ninja on the bake option and at 350, I meant to do 325, but I accidentally did 350, but you know, it doesn't matter. This was for five minutes. So I am going to, they are still warm, but I mean, I can already tell that Five more minutes of baking would have been perfect. Um, like, look at the texture there. So I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy. Now this was seven minutes here. Um, I, I decided to leave two in a bit longer. So let me just, uh, let me just see. Uh, look at that. So uh, yeah. So what I did was not enough, and. Um, so these, I will throw them in the air fryer and finish them off as well. Um, these are totally usable. I'm super excited about this because uh, when, they, when they came out of that air fryer, they sure look like biscuits. I'm just imagining, you know, biscuits with gravy, um, anything like that. I just got to give it a try. Yeah. They're beautiful. That's the best texture that that frozen butter thing in Devonili. <laughs> These are good. Um, so yeah, definitely. Actually, let me swallow this first. Definitely try the frozen butter thing. Even if you do what I did and do an experiment with a small amount, use your grater. Now I'm trying to think, okay, what can I get so that I can grate it out better? Um, but on the other hand, how often do I make buns? Probably once a week. I think I can probably grate it by hand. Um, we'll see, we'll see what I do. But definitely worth doing. It is a game changer on these BBBE buns. And because you're just adding butter, they are still BBBE compliant. So win-win. Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks again for watching. Um, I'm glad I was able to salvage them. Oh, I wanna give you one more trick. You see this, this would normally scare me, but somebody, and I wish I could remember their name, somebody told me that they throw their mesh bun in with the, uh, with their tea towels and, you know, their kitchen towels basically. And so I did that last time. They were, per they came out perfect. So, um, I'm not scared anymore. Um, I'm going to fish these out, put them in the air fryer, throw this in the laundry and we're all gonna live happily ever after. We'll see you guys on the next video.
Okay, well, I'll mention that when I mention all these things. Oh. <sighs> I forgot the frozen butter. I feel much better about that.